What's the first thing that comes to mind when you think of Canada? The flag. It's so simple, but really nice to look at. Not simple to draw, as a kid. Can confirm. Drew many Mary Joanna looking flags as a kid. Prophetic drawings. Apparently. Can confirm. Baked Canadian that can't draw maple leaves reporting in. Hockey. I'm not your guy friend. I'm not your friend buddy. I'm not your buddy guy. I'm not your guy. Pow. Maple syrup. Same. Also like the maple cookie things. Same. Also like the maple cookie things. You mean maple cookies? Take about 10% off the top there squally dan. 50% of the word Canada is a letter A. A. C. A. N. A. D. A. As a Canadian. I must say, this made me chuckle. This is actually the punk line to a pretty old joke in Canada. 40 ish Canuck here, paraphrased, so the leaders were discussing what to name our great country. They had no idea, so they put a bunch of letters in a bowl to draw them out. The first letter is drawn, and announced it's a C. A. Second it's an N. A. Third it's a D. A. And thus the country of Canada got its name. This giant lumberjack man I met in a tour who was the most stereotypical Canadian I've ever met. In a 5 minute conversation, we talked about hockey, flannel, syrup, cross country skiing, moose, and whiskey. And when I say we talked I mean he talked and then apologized for talking so much. E. Whiskey. Sorry about him. Mention hockey and we go a little nuts sometimes. Canadian immediately apologizes. Sorry about that. Poutine. National salad of Canada. I live here. I did not know we have a national salad. Yup. Root vegetables with cheese curd croutons and a gravy vinaigrette. Geese. Knock. I'm glad I'm not the only one that read it like that. Lol. Home. Right on. Brad. Edit. Oh yeah. I'm so stoked at some of these replies. Snow. The informer guy or the crystallized water? Boom boom there. Mees. Fear called mooses. Moosen. Many moosen. I saw a flock of moosen. There are many of them. Many much moosen. Out in the woods. In the woods. In the woodson. Terry Fox. Get goosebumps every time I think about him and his achievements. For me he is the greatest Canadian. Scroll too far for this icon. I immigrated to Canada, after having an accident, and needing to relearn how to walk. Seeing what Terry Fox did, and how it affected people, gave me a drive I don't think I would have otherwise had. Um. I'm from here so home. But after that I think about how our biggest theft was 18. 7 million bucks worth of maple syrup from a reserve. And we call it the Great Canadian Maple Syrup Heist. Have fun with that tidbit. Tidbit. More like Timbit. Tim Bits and Tim Hortons are shit, and shouldn't be supported. It's not a Canadian company. Despite how they try to cash in on being a Canadian icon. Also, they don't treat their employees well. There's nothing Canadian about that as far as I'm concerned. Hear hear. They were shit for years, but really fell off a cliff, after they merged with Burger King. 2-4. Canadians will know what it means. 2-4 on May 24th as is tradition. Get your 24424 bud. Yeah. Those hats that the ears fold down. You mean the Russian styled ones, those are called a shankus. The kids in the hall link. Youtube. Com slash watch. V equals nngoq 2 p 9 lows. Awesome show. The Canadian Rockies. I'm sitting in them right now. Maple Leaf. As a Canadian I love threads like these. Makes me really proud. Except that one guy who said Canada doesn't contribute anything to the world. That was pretty rude. Well. To coin a phrase. Sorry. Macintosh toffee. Rip teeth. And of Green Gables. When I firstly read it. For some reason I thought it's somewhere close to England. Then I had access to the internet. Googled this island. And couldn't believe, when Google Maps threw me on the other side of the world. Letterkenny. Honestly, I've never been able to properly explain what living in rural Canada is like. 
It's not quite American Midwest. But it's not exactly Yuvan of the Yukon. Either. Everyone says. Oh. It's like corner gas. And I have to explain that it's quite a bit different. Letterkenny, on the other hand, is probably the most accurate representation of living in rural Canada I've ever seen. It honestly makes me nostalgic for my time on the prairies. And I hated those times. I grew up in English rural Quebec near Ottawa. It's interesting as we sound really similar. But every so often you realize that we have a bunch of Quebecisms thrown in that doesn't really apply to the rest of Canada like close the light slash TV CT to turn off electronics, pass a broom slash mop to clean, to burn a red, to run a red stop light, botch can, a can to put cigarette butts in, terrace, patio, DP, convenience store, going up to slash down to, going somewhere in relation to which way the Ottawa river flows, but then as we are a rural English area that gets a lot of Ontario cottages, we get a bunch of Ottawa slash Toronto slang mixed in too. I know what you mean. I spent a lot of time on the prairies, and everything is the same. Just some of the terms are slightly different. I really love, too. How the later seasons went out of their way to show that the Quebecois and the boys from Letterkenny and the First Nations folks were all actually more similar than they were different. It was a nice way to acknowledge that Canada is culturally extremely diverse, but with a common undercurrent running through all of it. Hoses. Take off. A. To the Great White North. It's a groovy way to go. Beauty. Beauty way to go. Ryan Reynolds. Sorry? Coffee crisp. I had no idea this was only a Canadian thing. I swear I find out something every week I thought existed everywhere is actually just a Canadian thing. Last week it was no name. A. You really think so? A. Bob and Out McKenzie. And the Frantics. Edmonton just put up a Bob and Out statue. Very nice. I haven't been there since about 1992. Legal weed. Two years ago it was illegal. Now it's classified as essential during this pandemic. Weird. Yeah. Amazing how fast things changed. Oh how the turntable. Rush. Why did I have to scroll this far down before I saw someone mention the holy trinity. Duo now. He may have been struck down. But now he is more powerful than you could possibly imagine. Mounties. That would be the Royal Mounties thank you very much. Terence and Philip. That's because you're a cock sucking ass licking Uncle Ducker. You're an Uncle Ducker yes it's true. Nobody ducks uncles quite like you. Hey, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.